I'ma crush it. Call me. Welcome to Unsung. I'm Anthony Walker, friend of the city and your host of our region's nonprofit online news magazine show. In this episode, we're coming to you from the Beachview Community War Memorial. In honor of Veterans Day, which will be observed Monday, November 12th this year, we have a very special edition of Unsung. First, we'll get to know the Veterans Leadership Program, an organization devoted to assisting veterans in our community. With their help, we will also have a special tribute to the men and women that serve in our armed forces. Here's what's happening with our area nonprofits. In the wake of Hurricane Sandy, our thoughts are with our neighbors on the East Coast. The Pittsburgh Foundation is working to compile a list of ways you can offer support. It will be available at pittsburghfoundation.org. In addition, we invite you to check out the Council on Foundations Disaster Response Center. The Council's Disaster Center is an online portal where you can see how other philanthropic organizations are reacting to the disaster and find links to other disaster related information. They are currently populating that portal with information from grant makers as we identify efforts that are currently underway to assist the storm victims. You can also donate $10 by texting Red Cross to 90999. Red Blue Voice will be launching a regional project based crowdfunding prototype in early November. They are looking for local nonprofits to express a need to the regional community. Think Kickstarter, but regionally driven by their media partner. They think that the first projects to launch will have a good chance of securing funding, but like anything, there are no guarantees. If you are interested, please visit redbluevoice.com. Sponsored by the Heinz Endowments and the Pittsburgh Foundation, investing in professional artists, the Pittsburgh Region Artist Program is guided by a shared belief in artistic excellence, creative development, and the need for continuous career advancement. Professional artists, self-directed pursuit of new ideas, opportunities, and skills are essential to the region's cultural vitality. This program provides resources to professional artists for the breadth of the creative process, from concept to completion. While the program does not require presentation of a fully realized work, it challenges artists to seek to produce the artworks that will define our times, our regions, and our lives. Applications for 2013 Creative Development and Residency Grants will be accepted online until 1159 on January 22, 2013. A full list of guidelines and application instructions are available at pittsburghfoundation.org slash region underscore artist underscore program. The Veterans Leadership Program originally was formed to assist Vietnam War veterans. The organization expanded to serve all veterans in their programs and assistance are needed now more than ever. Here's the story as told by Al Mercer. Well, good evening. I'm Al Mercer, I'm the Executive Director of Veterans Leadership Program. I want to talk to you this evening about images. You've seen many pictures tonight. You saw Chris standing up here and talking about his journey. You saw Dr. Winkenwerder stand up here and talk about serving the country at a national level. You saw a group of veterans who helped start VLP talk about what it was like uh, in the very early beginnings of the agency. And shortly, you will see the image of Specialist Ford Leslie Sabo who made the ultimate sacrifice while serving his country. I'd like to take a few more minutes of your time and share some other images with you, not of veterans, but of people just like you who help veterans. You know, a few weeks ago, we had a group of volunteers from a local corporation come to VLP and meet over lunch with some veterans to talk about job openings and gave those veterans tips on how to get hired. Members of a local church started a meal train for one of our clients who was, who was going to the hospital for surgery and was worried that her family wouldn't have dinner. Those church members made and delivered hot meals to her house every night for over a week while she recuperated in the hospital. A local business called us to find out more information about hiring veterans. A delivery man named John stopped by our office to drop off some furniture. He asked one of our team members to explain what we did for veterans. He then pulled a $20 bill out of his pocket and asked if it, it would, if it could help pay for something that a veteran needed. A local landlord called to say he had an apartment that he wanted to rent to a veteran in need through one of our housing programs. 
Several businesses and organizations have donated furniture, carpeting, paint, and other items to help us spruce up rooms in our office for veterans' use. We, re we receive box seats to Pitt's home games this season. Each game, a case manager takes a group of veterans and their families to a game, a once-in-a-lifetime experience for these men and women who are trying to reconnect with their children and families. Several, businesses, several business people have donated suits or dresses for veterans to wear on job interviews. You know, on a daily basis, we are moved by the stories of our clients, how they served our country, returned home, and became lost. But it is important to point out that we are just as moved by the amazing generosity shown by companies, organizations, and individuals. In our office right now, we've been talking about the tsunami that is coming. It's not a natural disaster. Instead, it is the wave of military service members who will return home from deployment to our area in the next two to three years. We must be ready, not just at VLP, but in our communities. Therefore, we invite you to join us in Operation Back Home. Volunteer. Volunteer to be a mentor at Veterans Court. Donate books, furniture, meals. Consider VLP for a financial contribution. Hire a veteran. There are so many ways to support these heroes. Join us. Join us in making Operation Back Home a reality. Visit our website, www.neverforgetvets.org, to learn more. In closing, I'd like to thank each of you for coming this evening. Thank you very much. Special thanks to Glenn Meekham, our host. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> Thank you to all of our sponsors, including K&L Gates and Highmark, our lead sponsors. And thank you for your continued support. And of course, to VLP's board and staff, thank you for your time, talent, and dedication to veterans. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Unsung would like to thank the Veterans Leadership Program for inviting us to film their 2012 Veterans Tribute, which shared many moving stories. Unsung is proud to present our own video tribute to our men and women that serve our country.
The Social Innovation Fast Pitch is a free two-month communication skills training program and networking opportunity for innovative nonprofits that are affecting social change in Allegheny County. The program trains nonprofit leaders to powerfully communicate their stories, culminating with the Social Innovation Fast Pitch competition on March 6, 2013. In December, leaders from 12 nonprofits will be selected to participate based on their approaches to creating social change and their potential for significant positive community impact. In January and February, they will receive training, feedback, and mentoring from partnering professionals on how to succinctly and powerfully tell their story. Past participants have described the program as invaluable, resulting in greater effectiveness when presenting, increased exposure for their programs, valued new relationships, and increased support from donors and volunteers. The information that you need to learn about and apply for the 2013 PSVP Social Innovation Fast Pitch is available at the address on your screen. San Bien, the Film and Arts Festival is proud to announce its fourth season of award-winning films from Senegal, South Africa, USA, and Chad. The festival has expanded its programming and offers a diverse selection of stunning, award-winning, controversial films from a variety of genres. Many of the films have never been shown on a big screen in Pittsburgh. San Bien, the Film and Arts Festival season starts November 9th at Eva Lounge, 126 North Highland Avenue in East Liberty. The films will start at 6.30. Doors open at 5.45 with light refreshments. The films are free of charge and the public is welcome. Seating is limited and on a first come, first served basis. Take a break from your busy holiday prep with the Pittsburgh Jazz Orchestra annual holiday celebration. The PJO swings into the Manchester's Craftsman's Guild for the first time with their annual holiday celebration. Artistic director of the orchestra, Sean Jones, says we want to try to recreate the spirit of what the holiday is all about. This very popular concert spreads Christmas cheer and old favorites receive a jazz makeover as the skilled musicians of the PJO render a new treatment on holiday classics and turn the holiday season into a unique celebration of wonder, bliss, and merriment that the whole family will enjoy. It takes place on Saturday, December 22nd, and more details are available at mcgjazz.org. And once again, Unsung's very own Christopher Whitlatch will take the polar plunge for the Special Olympics on December 2nd at Heinz Field. If you want to join him in the river or support the Special Olympics, please visit the link on your screen. Thank you for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. Our 2012 holiday show is coming and your video can be a part of it. Tell us how you are getting involved and what would make Pittsburgh better. Submit your video to Pittsburgh on Video and join the show. I'm Anthony Walker reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time.